With the labyrinth of branching and criss-crossing timelines, it can be difficult at times to say exactly what makes up the history of any given Transformers universe. Over and over through the history of the Transformers brand, stories have been written which both extend pre-existing stories and also fill in pre-existing stories, adding details and retcons big and small. These extensions may be written years or even decades after the stories from which they are descended. There may be multiple extensions which conflict with each other, written at different times by different people for different licensees, targeting different markets. Branching timelines, on their own, are not that difficult to keep straight, but the relationship between various Transformers stories is much more complex than that because of the way new stories will pick and choose elements from old stories. There are no real answers to the questions that arise from this practice. It becomes a very messy question of subjective tastes and opinions, leading to the idea of a personal canon. Consider the Beast Wars television series. It borrows elements from the American G1 cartoon and G1 comics. The past history of the Beast Wars cartoon's timeline is a mishmash, something that probably resembles the G1 cartoon more than anything else, but which differs from the cartoon in unknown ways and may include more, or less, of what we see in the Marvel comics. BW is set in a G1 universe for which we have never seen, and probably will never see, more than tiny glimpses of the G1 part. The history of that universe is not known, even though we presumably know its broad outline. So, what significance does information from Beast Wars, such as the idea of the Spark, hold for those older stories? Since being introduced in, The Spark, Sparks have become one of the most important and unifying concepts in all Transformers fiction. Yet fiction which predates Beast Wars, of course, never mentions them. G1-era fiction which was written post-Beast Wars almost always includes them. Retconning Sparks into most vintage G1 fiction is not all that difficult, but should it be done? Obviously, the G1-esque universe in which the Beast series are set has Sparks. But what about the actual G1 cartoon and comic universes? Do they have sparks? Does the G1 cartoon's future, and past, look like Beast Wars or like something else? What if a new story instead claimed that its past was exactly like an old story rather than merely similar to it? The main storyline of the universe in Wreckers comics is ostensibly set in the BW-BM cartoon continuity, happening alongside and immediately afterwards. Are revelations from universe, true, in Beast Machines, or is universe actually set in a timeline which is identical to the BM timeline aside from those extra events occurring? Does your answer change when IDW Publishing releases a Beast Wars comic which also claims to occur alongside the BW cartoon, but which cannot be reconciled with universe? What do you do with something like the Classics comics published in the official fan club newsletter? Those stories are set in the future of the US G1 comic, except that they ignore the UK G1 comic and the US G2 comic. According to G2, there is an offshoot race of Decepticons running around in space who have been away from Cybertron for millions of years. Is that still true in other offshoots of the G1 comic? Is Jaxus out there in Classics Comics space somewhere, and simply not visiting, or does he not exist at all? He could exist. Did, but there is no way to know. The only objective way to deal with all of this would be to take a very strict viewpoint on every story and never assume that anything is true, unless it is explicitly stated in that story. Taken to an extreme, though, this stance can make it impossible to declare any two stories to share continuity, even two sequential episodes of a given TV series. For all we know, the new episode is set in a universe closely parallel to that of the previous episode but a little different. We wouldn't want to assume that a scene which wasn't shown in the recap actually occurred, after all. Especially if there's a continuity glitch of some sort, like the dialogue in a recap being slightly different than the dialogue from the earlier episode. So an absolutist, only what they showed, viewpoint can't really work. There has to be some concession. Even, I'm going to treat all the episodes of this series as if they are one big story, is a subjective decision, one which another fan may find too restrictive or too liberal, especially if two of those episodes directly contradict each other.